Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about solving systems of three equations with substitution. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, x equals a negative 4z minus 19, y equals 5x plus z minus 4, and negative 5y minus z equals 25, and we want to uh, solve this system by substitution. The first thing I'm looking at here, actually, is I'm going to look at this y equals 5x plus z minus 4. And the reason I'm looking at that because I know I can substitute this x in, and now I have y equal to just z's. Okay, putting that, this negative 4z minus 19 in for that x. So let's do that. We have y equals 5, and instead of x, we're going to put this value, negative 4z minus 19. Then we add a z to it, and we have a minus 4. So then from here, we want to simplify to get y by itself, or as much as possible to simplify, um, but keep y by itself. So y equals, okay, 5 times negative 4z is a negative 20z, and then 5 times a negative 19 is a negative 95. And then we have plus z and a minus 4. Well, let's combine our like terms here. Negative 20z plus 1z is a negative 19z. Negative 95 minus 4 is a negative 99. And I'm done with, for this, uh, with this equation for the moment. Uh, what now I want to do is, well, I want to see if I can get a variable by itself. Okay? And we notice here on the third equation, I have y and a z. Okay, and that's it. And this equation we found just has a y and a z as well. So what I'm going to do is take this, this equation we just found and plug it in for that y right here. So we have a negative 5 here. And instead of y, I'm putting this whole equation we just found, negative 19, z, minus 99. Then we have our minus z here equals a positive 25. And the point of this, you can see that z is the only variable in this equation, and now we can solve. So let's distribute the negative 5 to both parts. Negative 5 times negative 19z is 95z. Negative 5 times negative 99 is a positive 495. Negative, uh, sorry, and then we just have a minus z here, and that's equal to 25. From there, we want to simplify combining our like terms. So uh, if we add or subtract actually a 495 to the other side, we get a 25 minus 495 is a negative 470. What was a 7? Negative 470. And 95z minus 1z is a 94z. Divide both sides by 94, and z equals a negative 5. And we have our first variable answer z is negative 5. So where can we go from here? Well, I try to find the easiest way to substitute it in. And right here we already have an equation. Right, let's just continue that out. We're just going back here. And z is negative 5. Let's put that in. So y equals negative 19 times z, which is negative 5, now that we found minus 99. Keep going. Let's just simplify. So y equals negative 19 times a negative 5 is a positive 95. Then we subtract a 99 to that. So here we have 95 minus 99 is a negative 4, and we have our y value, y equals negative 4. So let's go find our x value. Well, our first equation here we can use. It only has y equals a uh, part that's equal to, uh, has a z in it. So let's rewrite that. x equals a negative 4, but instead of z, we're going to put a negative 5 in. And then we have minus 19. Simplify that out x equals negative 4 times negative 5 is a positive 20 minus 19. And 20 minus 19 is a uh, positive 1. And so we have x equals a positive 1 right here. And there's our answers. We can write it as a coordinate point. 1 comma negative 4 comma negative 5. And that's it. That's our final answer. x is 1, y is negative 4, and z is negative 5. I hope this video was helpful for you, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, 
Minute Math. When you need help, you use Minute Math. 